start with this question for this set of slides, if you will. I did not just lose 10 pounds. I may, in fact, have gained it. But let's say I did. Where is it? All right. So we're not sure where it went. We know it's probably, well, it could be in the toilet, but or in the sewer or whatever. Okay. Before we even get that far, we have to talk about what actually makes us go. And the thing that makes us go is something called ATP. ATP is adenosine triphosphate. ATP is a molecule of energy. Let me make a little, this is a very diagrammatical sketch of ATP. I'll get out of the way in a minute. So up here I have a diagram of ATP, and it says here the bonds in ATP release energy when broken, powering cell function. The bonds in ATP release energy when broken, powering cell function. So what this means is that this is a adenosine, and triphosphate means three phosphate molecules. It's a molecule that I'm just I'm making this very diagrammatic, but here we have a bond. This little squiggly line is a chemical bond between two phosphate molecules. Okay? Those phosphate molecules naturally repel each other, but because they're, we pro, the cell provides a chemical bond, and they're bonded together, so if we break this bond, Energy is released, and we're going to go over this again in a minute. There's an energy release, okay? And that energy is used to power the cell. Now, hold on a second. Time up. Maybe we should talk about what this is. Maybe we should talk about what energy is. What the heck is energy? Let me rephrase the question. What is energy? So the next question is, how do you get it? How do you get it? Well, we can't really eat it. It's an important idea. When you eat a, a steak, you don't get very much ATP. You're like, well, wait a minute, it gives me energy. I thought eating gave me energy. Oh, I don't. Not really. It doesn't really give you energy. See, we have to make it. It being ATP. We have to make ATP. So ATP is made by cells. In a basic process of this. Chemical bonds are broken by enzymes. Cells have a process for using that energy to make ATP. Chemical bonds are broken, which releases energy, we'll explain that in a minute, by enzymes. Cells have a process for using that energy to make ATP. So the breaking of chemical bonds in the paper and the breaking of chemical bonds in your food releases energy. Thirty 
37 degrees Celsius, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Right? Warmer than the air around you. Where is that energy coming from? From making chemical bonds. The major fuel for making ATP is something called glucose. Glucose is a simple sugar, also known as a carbohydrate. You already know this. Carbohydrates are used to, for energy. That's the best answer I can give you. 